So Chris, what's the next step here that we're looking at? This is kind of the final part of pre-assembly before we go to the assembly side. After the parts are done um, and off the edge vander, they're brought over here. They're kind of pre-assembled on, uh, on this assembly table here. And this is our case clamp. So Eric's gonna kind of show us how the final parts are fit together. A little bit of glue is used and then we're, uh, we put it on the case clamp. To clamp that cabinet together it has to sit for about five to seven minutes in that clamp and then it's fully cured, ready to go. And it goes over to assembly side of the house where it's uh, completely trimmed out for hardware, drawer boxes, things like that. Now, Eric, I see this is pretty much the final steps of the process here. Yes, once it's, uh, once it's all done and double checked and everything, it gets shrink wrapped, uh, gets placed on our truck and gets delivered directly to the job site. Well, I really appreciate it taking us through the steps of this process, but I know classic laminate cabinets aren't the only things you do here, Chris. I noticed that you have finishing shop and there's a lot of other machinery that you haven't showed us today. That's correct. You know, what we kind of showed you first was our whole process and ourselves for uh, fabricating custom plastic laminate cabinetry. Um, other than that, we do everything that an architect wants us to do in terms of architectural millwork from um, running trim, door frames, doors, uh, wood wall panels, wood ceiling panels, window jams and casing. Really, whatever the architect could dream of um, that contains wood or a wood related product that we can use our tools on, we'll do. What I thought was very interesting in a part of the process is just the skill and training that you need really to operate these things. It, there's computer training, carpentry skills. You're really multifaceted for the people to be involved in this. That's, that's definitely true. Uh, most of our people here, most of our best people, have been in this trade for a long time. A lot of them went into the apprenticeship program with the union, started um, as apprentices here, learned the machinery, learned the shop. Most people who start with us, if they do well, we try to help cross train them and give them opportunities to grow within the company. You know, and it becomes very evident in the finished product that you guys put out. Really appreciate the time giving us the tour. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Bruce. Anytime. time.